Three children with autism have drowned in the last month here in Central Florida. Yesterday in Deltona, investigators found missing seven-year-old Charlie Newton dead in a Deltona lake. He ran away from his family the night before. Last week, four-year-old Waylon Childs wandered from his family at an Ormond Beach Park and was found dead in a lake nearby. And two weeks ago, five-year-old Arturo Angarita's family says he snuck away from them in Kissimmee and he was then found in a water-filled ditch. Community organizations want to prevent more drownings and long searches if a child runs off. In Volusia County, a company News 6 has shown you before, it's called Shareware, is stepping up to the plate. News 6's Molly Reed met up with them again today. A lot of the experts we've talked to say many of these children with autism are attracted to water and as they get older they become faster movers and runners. Now these are shareware bands. Yesterday when I was with the Volusia Sheriff and his team unfortunately right after Charlie Newton was found in a lake they were looking for ways to prevent this from happening yet again. I reminded them about these shareware bands just recently invented here in Volusia County and how they could play a role in this. Now they're in talks along with other organizations to create a partnership. Turns out the inventor, Amanda Anderson, was ready to step up and help too. The idea is to get donors in the community to donate. This would go towards not only bands with geolocation for these children in the community, but would also go towards drowning prevention education put on by Easter Seals. Anderson has already partnered with eight Central Florida law enforcement agencies to give out shareware bands to those with medical conditions since rolling out their bracelets in April. Now she says they could help with autistic children too. And some of them are unable to communicate their needs, um, non-speaking, anybody in the community, if they have found this child after eloping, can tap the bracelet, access the information, and then immediately make contact. Now, if somebody is wearing one of these bracelets, a phone can simply be put up to it, and a profile will open with medical and emergency contact information. Last month, they also rolled out a geotag feature where, let's say a child gets lost, someone finds them and scans it, a text will immediately be sent to their parents with the exact location. We actually have ones that specifically say if lost, tap bracelet, mm -hmm. just anything that can let somebody know whether it's a good Samaritan or a first responder to take an extra look at this bracelet. And the company also has stickers that can be placed on a child's shirt or keychains that can be placed around a belt loop. But again, they're open to suggestions as far as devices. Again, donations for these so they can give them out along with swim lessons and drowning prevention. All part of that campaign, all of these organizations are hoping to out within the next couple of weeks. In Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.